y'all. So it's been a minute since I have been on the platform. I haven't done videos for about six weeks, I think it is. And so um, you're going to have to bear with me because I'm kind of not really, you know, used to doing videos anymore, <laughs> recording anymore. So if you're new here, I am Bex. I travel full time in my uh, 2014 Ram Promaster with my dog Lady. And I have been take I've taken about six weeks off during the summer. I just needed a break. And now I am headed to Mexico. So I'm super excited. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about, you know, just kind of here and there. But I also wanted to really talk about the process that I'm going through when I was doing research to go, uh, you know, figure out what I needed to, to cross the border. I found it really hard to find accurate information. And so I really just want to provide that uh, resource in this video. So I'm going to talk about exactly what I'm uh, going to be using to get through the border and then obviously in a follow-up video or maybe next week during my live I will talk about what I actually needed uh, to get in which hopefully matches what I have because otherwise that'll be annoying. So thanks for being here and uh, if you like this video once you've seen it please give it a like and I would love for you to go back if you haven't seen my other videos go back and check out my videos. I had a really fun summer and um and then subscribe i would love to have new subscribers i'd really love to get to like 3500 i'd like to get to 5000 but 3500 would be great in the next few weeks so hit that subscriber button that'd be awesome and then uh come back next week for my live so all right here we go So I am, today's Tuesday, no, what is today? Today's Monday. <laughs> and my first day back to work for the weekend. Oh, I hope y'all had a good Monday. Weekends are just too short. Even if you enjoy the work that you do, weekends are just always better than work, aren't they? So <laughs> I'm on my way to get a booster shot. That's one of the things that's on the top of my list for going to Mexico. And it's okay if some of you don't want boosters, you not, don't believe in shots, that's okay, but that's, I believe in shots. So I'm getting my booster today. And I may, I've been reading that I may actually have some kind of heavier side effects than I did last time. So I've been hydrating all day long and I've been, I got a good night's sleep last night. So I'm hoping that that will help. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, but it'll be worth it. Good morning. I am up early this morning. I was so tired last night. I went to bed really early and I'm up and I'm able to see the sun rising. I have some other really pretty images I'll insert so that you can see. Good morning. It's like, why don't I get up earlier? I end up going to bed too late. <laughs> so anyways, today's Thursday. I've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday before we cross over on the border on Monday. We're hoping to go at like 4, 4.30 in the morning because that's what we've read that um, that's a really good time to do that. So that's what our plan is. And I've got all my paperwork. Um, and I was hoping to get a lot more done in the van before heading to Mexico, but I mean, like I'm almost done with this stuff, but I still have things here and there that I need to do. So anyways, look at that beautiful sun. So grateful for that sun every day. So here's a list of the things that I've prepared to go over the border on Monday. Hope it helps. Okay, I'm getting this video together. It's Saturday night and I'm like adding stuff. So somebody who, a friend of mine who is a subscriber, uh, was asking about the real ID versus passport. And I'm not really sure about the real ID. I do have one, but I have a passport, so I'm going to use my passport. Um, also, I uh, have a little bit of information about a hotspot because I have Verizon. I do have international calling for Verizon uh, in Mexico and Canada, so I'll be able to make calls and text for free unlimited but my hotspot is, you know my data is um 
gonna be limited. I think it's like half a gig per day. And if I want any additional, I have to pay $5 per 0.5 gigs, um, you know, each time. So I did that in Canada and that was ridiculous. So I'm not gonna do that again. I am, so I'm buying this uh, router that I'm gonna use a SIM card for. So look at that in these next clips and you can see what that is. Um, and I'll explain a little bit about that. Here's the list we found online of items we need to cross the border to Mexico. The first three should be easy peasy. I double checked and you cannot use your re real ID to get into Mexico. You'll need your passport. So first things first. So the first three items are the passport, your valid driver's license and vehicle registration. So that's super easy. Then uh, the next three items are a little more complex. The next one is the temporary vehicle importation permit. Uh, if you're going to either the Baja Peninsula or to Sonora, you don't need this permit. And we're going to be in on the Baja Peninsula, so we don't need this. Uh, once we want to go over to the mainland, then we obviously will get it. Um, if you're traveling, um, so if you're traveling anywhere else in Mexico, you'll need it. And um the website to do that is banjercito and i'll put a link in the description if you're uh you're gonna need this you're gonna have to get it 10 to 60 days prior to your travel into mexico and then the next item is a mexico tourist card or entry permit also known as the fmm this costs 31 dollars 99 Plus, there was a 95 uh, cent foreign exchange rate with my bank, which was annoying. Um, so you're basically registering on the official government site. So you're going to need like your passport information, dates that you're going to be there, that kind of stuff. And then you print out, a, you get a form that you need to uh, take along with you. And you have to have that form on you at all times. And then the next thing is Mexico Traveler's Insurance. I got mine through my insurance company uh, for six months and I paid, I think it was like $452 or something like that for the six months. I'm gonna show that later in the video. This is the site where you get your FMM from. It's the government of Mexico's uh, website. So you can see that you just have to enter like when you're going to enter, when you're going to depart, personal information, uh, you know, what type of document, document number, where you live, all that kind of thing, and your email address. Because what they do is they end up emailing it to you uh, once you've completed it. For the Mexican Traveler's Insurance, um, I went through my website, like I said, or my insurer. So you just have to, depending on how you want to do it, uh, this is a, one way you can do it. They have specific um, insurers that will help you to do that. So you just have to fill in all your information, the dates of depart, entry, departure, typical stuff, you know, all the information about your vehicle. Uh, and, and just answer all the questions and then they'll give you a quote. And then they deal with, um, well, at least my company deals with international or like Mexican insurance companies. And so you're buying the insurance from the Mexican insurance company, not from your local US company. One of the final things that I thought about was the, how was I gonna access the internet? Cause I have to work while I'm on the road. And so I found this video, I'm gonna link it here, um, explaining kind of different options. And this was one of them. It's a router that you can pretty much use in most countries. So when I get to Mexico, I'm gonna go to a Telcel center or an OXO. Uh, which is kind of like a 7-Eleven, and get a, a SIM card, which they call them chips there. And so you can buy them on different levels, like, you know, different gigs and things like that. They are a reloadable SIM card. So you just put that into this 
um, this router and um, call it a day. So fingers crossed that's going to work because I have to work. <laughs> so that's a great option. Okay, another thing I did not mention is if you have a pet, and I have a dog, as you know, uh, you do need only one thing. You just need proof of rabies shot. So I have a rabies certificate for Lady uh, that I'll bring, be bringing with me. And then um, also the vaccination card. I didn't see anything on any of the websites that you need to bring a vaccination card or show proof that you've been vaccinated. Um, I do have my card just in case, but it doesn't seem that you need to have that to get into Mexico. So that makes it easy. I hope all this information helped you. I did it as thoroughly as I could. I'm going to have links in the description and all of that kind of stuff. And then, like I said, I'm going to follow up in my live next week. Hopefully I'll be able to have that. Uh, depends on if I have Wi-Fi or not, but I do intend on having my, getting back to my uh, last Sunday of the month lives because I really enjoy those and miss doing those. But I hope this was helpful. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll, you know, I'll answer them. All right, bye. Lady at the Jiffy Loop. Hi, lady. Getting our oil changed. Yay. Uh-huh.